pause the video as needed to follow along and be sure to leave your questions in the comments. Thanks for watching my daddy's videos. Please subscribe and click the notification bell. So recently I've had quite a few requests to make a video on the video editing software that I use. So I use a program called Shotcut, which is a free open source cross-platform video editor. Uh, if we go to shotcut.org, you will see the website here, shotcut.org. You can download it, you can look at the features, uh, you can look at tutorials, resources, all sorts of um, things, right? So once we open the software, you'll see I've started building sort of how it would look to create a video in here. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete all this. And I'm going to, well, I actually go to file and new. And we're just going to make a new file so I can show you what it will look like from an empty project. So and when you first open it, it's going to look like this. And you're going to see this little window here under playlist tab. Whatever's in this playlist tab, you can use for the video. So what we'll do is we'll go to a folder I already have with a bunch of content in it for making my videos. Here's a pre-recorded YouTube intro bit track. We'll drop that in there. Here is what I use for my subscriber alert. We'll drop that in there. And then we're also going to grab the latest video that I just recorded and drag that in there. So because these are now in the playlist, these can be used in the video. We'll also go back and we'll go to the folder where I keep all my files and we'll go in and we'll drag in the audio which I've created as well and we'll drag those in there. So again, everything here we can utilize in the video. Let's see, is there anything else? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get the pictures I created as well because you can do still images also. So we'll drag those in there. So I believe this is everything we're gonna need to make this work other than music, but we'll get to music in a minute. So if we go back to the software, down here under the timeline, you can right click and you can add video tracks and audio tracks or, you know, other options. But we're going to start with a video track and we're going to come in. We're going to click where it says V1 and we're going to name it video. We're going to right click add an audio track, click on the name and we're going to call it voice. We're going to right click, make another audio track and we're going to call it music. Okay. Now, the reason I do this is it allows me to sort of coordinate and organize what it is that I'm working with. So to get started here, we're going to go up to the YouTube intro and we're going to drag it down right here on that video timeline. And you're going to see it appear in there. So if we drag it over here to the left, you're going to see it snap. Now, there's a couple commands that I use. One of them is the home button will take you to the beginning of the timeline. The end button will take you to the end of the timeline. I'll hit the home button and then hit the space bar. And when I hit the space bar, you're going to see the YouTube intro video begin to play. All right. So what we're going to do after the YouTube intro is we're going to drag in the video file right here and drop it in. Now, if we hit home, we're going to go to the front of the timeline and you're going to see there's this gap between the intro and the video. So when we hit at space bar, you're going to see where it plays with nothing. So we want to click on the video and we want to drag this over until it snaps. And then we will have seamless play between the two video files. Great. Let's start with some voice stuff as well. So what we'll do is we'll drag in this 01.mp3 down here to the voice timeline. And if you click and hold, you can drag it wherever you want in the timeline. So I'll go right here and let it snap. So when we play this, you'll see that it goes through the YouTube intro. And when it cuts into where the play is, it starts playing the voice that I dropped there. Now, something I do for effect is I actually slide this video file over and I drag in a still PNG image of the final work right here like this. And then I drag it over and butt it in. And then I will drag down the other files that I want to play here. I believe all these will go here. Okay, so yeah, so then what I'll do is you can see this is everything I want here. Great, so what we want to do is you can see when we hit spacebar from here, from the intro in, we see the pick. But then you see the picture disappear, right? 
that's because we need to extend this. Well, the way we extend this is hold on to the right here and just drag it down to the end. And there you go. So now this will play through the entire music. And if we want to close this gap between these two, just drag this file over. So we'll go back to the beginning with the home button and we'll hit spacebar. And you're going to see it play through the intro. It'll skip into the, the still picture and then it'll jump into the video. And there we go. It jumps straight into the next video. So all you're doing is sequencing these things in a timeline. Okay, so for the next effect, let's grab a music file um, and I'm just going to give you an example on this. We will go to some that I already have stored in my Google Drive and these are YouTube approved, which means they are royalty free in terms of using. Let's grab, oh that's loud, let's grab, let's just grab one. We'll grab this one called Eureka. I don't know what it sounds like, but we're not worried about it. So we're just going to click it from here and you guessed it, drop it into the playlist and then we'll close this. All right. So what we'll do is we'll take Eureka MP3 and we'll drop it into the music timeline. And then we'll hit home to go back to the front. And you'll see where this file is now here. Now I'm going to show you something pretty important. You see the waves in the music file and that shows you where the audio is. You see this big wall right here in the beginning where there's no audio. So what we can do is we can click up here and we can drag through like this, okay? And when we get right about here, whatever layer you have selected, when you hit the S key, it's going to chop that piece that you can then delete. And that was S as in Sam. And then we'll just drag this music over to the front. We'll go home to the front. And then we're going to do a couple things with filters here. We're going to click on where it says with this song selected, we're going to click filters. Now filters allow you to alter video files, picture files, audio files, whatever you're working on. We're going to click this plus button and we're going to do fade in audio. And then we're going to do gain volume. Gain volume is going to let you either increase the volume of the audio track or decrease the volume of the audio track. We want to decrease it by about, I'd say, let's go right around 24. Okay. So when we hit space bar now, you're going to see Right, so as you can tell, you can see the volume on the music is a lot lower, which is fine. And we're just going to let that sort of stay that way. Now, you could also do separate intro music and separate music for the track, which is what I do in my regular video. And the way you would do that is you would just drag this file over. You would bring in a, a special clip of music here you want to run the length of your um, intro video. And you would just cut it down with the S key like we did this one to fit into that little bracket. And then it would transition from one to the next. So it's very simple to do. So we'll drag this back over. Now, if we look at the end, we're going to hit the end key and go to the very end of the timeline now, which is 17 and a half minutes long. That's a little long for a YouTube video. So I normally speed up my speed art videos. So we'll hit the home key and I'm going to show you how to make this video file, which is the main file, speed up. So with it highlighted, we're going to click on the properties tab and right here, you're going to see the speed, which is currently at one. Let's go with... 1.85 and hit enter well what it's going to do is it's going to take this and it's going to speed this video up, video up by 1.85 percent okay so if we go to the end now the video is currently at nine minutes instead of 18 minutes nine minutes i think is acceptable so if we hit this space bar you're going to hear the music start playing even though it's low and again we could do a different track there and then you're going to go through with us talking Cool. So then you're going to see that this video is now running faster. It's running at an accelerated rate, which is how I create the speed art effect. So I recorded it normal speed and then speed it up here in shotcut to make it look faster so that you guys don't have to watch 30 minute videos. Um, and so far so good. So we're going to hit space to pause this. Now, what else would we like to do to this? Um, we could add some audio at the end. We could do all different kinds of things. Um, what I generally do is jump to the end here and I'll add in a few screens. I will add in a quick shot of the final picture. 
So we'll drag it from the playlist to the end of the video and then just slide it over. That way it transitions from one to the other, like that, okay? And then I grab in a thanks picture. And these are all just still PNG files that I made in Affinity Designer, okay? So you'll see it transition from the video into the final pick. And I let that play for maybe three seconds. And then we transition into the thank you file. Well, now we want to get number three for audio on the voice track. Make sure you're dragging them into the right track. So we're going to drag it to voice. And we're going to let it snap right there with thank you. Now, when we play this, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to extend this with longer, right about here. And then let's see what happens. So you can see where the pick drops off, right? Because this one isn't butted up. So we'll slide it up here so they transition from one to the other. Great. So we'll drag this out to the end. That way it fits the entire audio track. And there we go. One more audio track. What is this one? We'll drag it on the end of voice and we'll drag it over a bit. Right about there. Let's play it and see what it is. Okay, great. So we'll extend it to the end of that audio track. All right. So now if we play through this real quick, you'll see a transition to the final step and then we're going to hear all the audio. All right, fantastic. So now we'll hit home to go to the beginning. Now for the music, the only way I have found to realistically repeat the music, and there may be a repeat feature that I'm not sure of. In fact, let's click on filter and see if there is one. Um, and that's some, that may be something I need to look into. And if anyone has a, a knowledge of that, let me know. Um, but so far what I've been doing is just sort of copying and pasting the same track. So if we go down here and we grab the scroll bar at the bottom and scroll to the end, you'll see that the music sort of stops right here. So what I normally do is I cut it off where the drop off is. So I'll come in here with the slider to right about here and I'll hit S with that layer selected and I'll delete the end. Then what I do is come over here and highlight this chunk and hit Control C to copy it, come forward a bit and hit Control B. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make a duplicate of the audio track and it's going to copy all the filters that it had. So you'll notice it has fade in video and gain volume. Well, we want to leave game volume because we want the audio to match between the tracks. So we're going to delete the fade in audio, but we're going to leave the game volume. And then what I would do is sort of clean up where this thing ends. So I would drag it, I'd say right about here and cut out this, this mix because you don't want it to go from high peak noise to nothing. So we'll delete this front one and we'll drag it down like this. All right, great. So then when we hit it, so that sounds pretty good. I mean, you could sit there and really play with it and get the sound to match perfectly. You just don't want any major, major cuts between. And then you would just continue to keep copying and pasting this track as far as you want to go with it. I generally go to the end of the video. So you just paste and snap, paste and snap. And then before you know it, you'll have audio throughout the entire track. And maybe one more, pretty close. So then, okay, there it go, butt it up against it. Now with this one, it's gonna be super long and you're gonna see why, because it's gonna go way past the end of the video. We want everything to end right here. So what I'll do is tab through here with the arrow key, get to the very end, hit, you guessed it, S, cut it off and delete it. And then we can choose this last one, go to filters and do fade out audio. Fantastic, now let's see what that does. Perfect. It ends absolutely perfectly. So now we're going to hit home and we're going to go to the front. At this point, you've pretty much completed the video. From here, you would add any sort of special effects or anything like that you want to do, but this could be compiled and completed as a whole video. I'm going to show you guys one more feature that I do. I right click and go to video track and leave it at the top and I call it sub. All right. Now what I do here 
is I take, and I will show you, I drag that subscribe PNG, uh, move file in here. Now what this is, we're going to play this real quick so you guys can see exactly what this does. This is a video with a transparent layer over top of the other videos. So what it will do when it plays is it will actually show as a transparent layer over top of everything. So watch this real quick. All right, cool. So that is that little um, animation, right? We'll do it one more time. Fantastic. But when you look at that, I don't really want the subscribe to pop up in the middle of the screen. So again, you guessed it, that's gonna be a filter. We're gonna highlight the video, we're gonna go to plus, we're gonna go to video, and I believe it's called rotate and scale. Yep. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight over it right about here at the beginning, and we're just gonna scale it down, okay? Sort of like that, you see that? Then we can actually come in and you can move it around the screen or you know, resize it or whatever it is you wanna do with that. But I um I would definitely make it smaller and you can place it you know, in the corners or top or bottom or whatever works for you. Um, so when we play this through, you'll see it one more time. Great. So then for that, you could also put it in the middle of the video, to the end of the video, whatever works for you. Um, so it's pretty easy to do. All right, so from there, we're gonna export it. So it's pretty simple. You just click on this export tab. You choose what output you want, right? I just choose YouTube right here. And I don't change any settings. And then you leave all the aspect ratios and everything exactly the same. Hit export file. And then you choose where you want it saved and you name it. Once you've exported it, you're going to have a completed video that's going to have all of these layers combined into one solid video file. And from there, you just upload to YouTube and you're done. Um, if you have any specific questions about this or certain processes that I did, please be sure to ask me and I'll do my best to help explain it better. But this should at least give you an introductory to how to work with Shotcut, how to make at least a completed video and then be able to upload it into YouTube. So thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe and click the notification bell. If you have something you would like to see me draw, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you would like to support the creation of these videos and earn other rewards, please check the description for my Patreon information. Always remember that anyone can be creative, just believe in yourself and work hard. Thank you, and have an amazing day.